Oh, God. Winning. We're winning. Oh, no, no. We're losing. Where's Finn? Where's Finn not helping? Where's Finn? There he is. Hello. Hey, everyone. My name is Mike. Welcome to Game of Thrones, episode 3. Um, in this video, we're playing as Myra, and we've just gone into this party. We're actually not meant to be here because Marjorie told us that we're not allowed because she's pissed off of us. And we want to speak to this guy here. Okay, we can eavesdrop on him. But first, we're going to get some wine because we told this guy that's what we're going to do. So we're going to like, kind of play along and make it look like not suspicious. So let's get a drink. Just um, so we can blend in, I guess. I don't know if this is... Um, okay, I didn't mean to do anything. Who's this guy? Looks like Willem Dafoe to me. <laughs> Right, so we can eavesdrop on this guy, can't we? Let's do, let's do that. Okay, I guess we're going to sit on this bench behind him. It is a lot, but I know how to speak. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one who's willing to work. Oh, an exclusive. Okay. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When's the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Uh, they, you asked them a question and they stopped talking. Okay, so we did learn that he is working with Whitehill. It's, we're quite lucky that he said that as we sat down, you know. We didn't miss it, did we? It's quite cool. <laughs> I know it's all scripted, like, but, you know, trying to get in involved in the immersion. So, Morgan, same eavesdrop on him as well, because he's another guy that's possibly working with Whitehill or maybe knows something that we need to know. Is there no longer a demand? I can't imagine that would be the case. No need for such wild speculation. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? No, no, no. I can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets just yet. Alright, so he's no longer involved in the Ironwood. Who's this crowd of people we can eavesdrop on? They're going to be talking about the cake or something, aren't they? The honey cake. <laughs> They're talking about the guards that died. That, that's the guard I killed. Holy shit. So people are talking about it. There's a view there of myself. Oh no, it's, the, it's, the, <laughs> it's beyond... The, okay, it's over there. Never mind. <laughs> I thought it was like, look at yourself. You can eat some food. No need to, really. It's just kind of side things. Um, so we've we've even dropped on him. We can now talk to him. Let's have a word. It's, it's, uh, is that a good idea? Let's do it anyway. Screw it. Lord Andros. Mira Forrester. He knows who I am. Did you come to poke your nose in my business once again? You have a nasty habit. I know of you're working with White Hill. Um Let's say all that anger's bad. I don't want to bring it up too quick. You're always so livid, Lord Andros. It can't be good for the constitution. You think you can mock me? You have no idea what you're up against. Why don't you tell me then? You think you and your friend, Morgren, scare me? Who said Morgren was my friend? Don't play innocent with me. I know what he's planning. You can tell him that either you both stay out of my way, or I'll do much worse than drive him out of business. Good day, Lady Mirror. Huh. Didn't really learn anything from, from that. We just pissed him off, and he started shouting at us. Uh, we can talk to these two. We can also eavesdrop on them. Why would... what have they got to, to hide? Well, I guess you never know, let's eavesdrop. Oh, I can't remember. I, I think it was a bird? Mm, close. A cock. That's what? it. <laughs> no, that's terrible. You're the one telling the joke, remember? What? A cock? You're talking... I don't know, even know what that joke is. Um, let's talk to them. Sarah, Lord Tarwick. Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Not really. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you talking to Lord Andros over there. 
This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really <laughs> what Mir is interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. No, not really. At all. Boring. I'm only curious. I've... No harm in Tell that. me about yourself. You can tell uh, me. I'm here. I can keep a secret, can't I, Sarah? I have other things to worry about. There are more important things. Well, maybe I, I should have asked about the other guy. I don't know. Out of trouble, Mira. All right. So, can we talk to the other guy, Morgan? Yeah, we can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. <laughs> I trust this means that you took care of that contract. Oh yeah, the thing. Do, if I may ask. I wasn't expecting. Um, I saw from Tyrion's office. We did honest. do that, but I'm not going to say that. You must have made quick. Uh, would you like to know? Yeah, that one. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. I do believe King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? No, I suppose if you're talking to me. You must want something. Don't tell me you just enjoy my company. When we first met, you were negotiating for Lord Whitehill. That's right. But now Lord Andros seems to think he's the only one working for him. So what happened? It appears that you know most of the story already. <sighs> I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Oh. Yep. All thanks to my partner. Bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud Whitehill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. Why did he push you out? That man would be nothing without me. Why would Lord Andros want to push you out? You found a man he could manipulate. Someone who wouldn't demand an equal share. Lyman Lannister. Hmm. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up oh, to. Oh, Tim. Wilm to vote. Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard, are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. <laughs> oh, leave him alone. Please excuse me. Alright, so... Andros got rid of Morgrin and went with that Lannister guy. Because I think that Lannister guy is more of a pushover. And find out what Andros and Lyman are planning. We can eavesdrop again. I don't think it's... It's still that Lyman guy. Let's find out who he is, because I, I don't think we've ever seen him before. I think he's a completely new character in the, in the Lannister family. There's so many Lannisters as well that you just don't um, know of. Excuse me. There's cousins and stuff. Lyman Lannister. <laughs> what the fuck? Shit. You startled me. He's a bit... Yeah, he's nervous. I don't already have enough to deal with. Why so nervous? You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. You are? I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. Goodman, he's in love with me already. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not um, the best company. I hear you're an important deal maker. You work at Andros. Oh, well, you headed for the you look like you need company. In your way. <laughs> that one, it's a bit more subtle. From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals, huh? Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand? You he can trust me. I was He's shaking. Sure. Respect that. Uh, I'm sorry. Whisper in my ear. If you like, you can whisper it in my ear. I, Smell my perfume. Well, I suppose I could just... Oh. Lyman! Oh, what do you, you think you're doing? You oh, cock block. Nothing. <laughs> you stay away from him. Andros, we were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? <laughs> he didn't I, know it was a Forrester. I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Oh, he's furious. Look at him. 
shit, Marjorie's there. Lady Marjorie. We can't be seen. We're so we're not meant to be here. And she's really angry with us. Because we did things behind her back, didn't we? Uh, I'd recognise her. Yeah. Lady oh, Marjorie. Sarah's there. So, oh, nice one, Sarah. Oh, you're amazing. She's like the best friend Mary's got. Like, she's brilliant. She's done so much for us. And that cold boy as well. Lady Mira? Hello? That was quite a scene over there. Are you alright? I'm fine. I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. Um, I'll trade right. you, just tell me. Don't be a tease. I'll trade you. How about we trade? There must be something I can tell you. There is something. Oh. I'm curious about Sarah. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'm oh, she's a bastard, isn't she? Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Huh. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand. I really couldn't I say. A that's neutral. I like the way she that's a lie. I and that's saying family. Sarah's a bastard. I'm going to back up Sa um, Sarah. Say it's a lie. I mean, do the, say the lie. When I was at High Garden. Oh. They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought. And now, Lord Tarwick. I mean, we good. can't throw Sarah under the bus. No way. She's too good for us. Right, Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. Okay. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes. You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man um, I won't tell. Secrets. I won't tell. I promise. Good. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros? The man's mouth is bigger than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. So we know Lyman's weakness then. Lady Mira. He's got an ongoing injury that requires him to take drugs. He's, a, he's an addict. He's addicted to... I think Milk of the Poppy is like painkillers, isn't it? It's just like, everyone always says like when someone's in serious danger on the TV show like... Get him milk of the poppy. We haven't got it. Oh, we can't do it. And then it's like, it's like morphine, I guess. Let's talk to Lyman then. Tell him. Let's try and see what we can get out, out of him. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros. So please, please. He's proper shaking. Just Look at him. Leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. You're shaking, it's important. Just, you're shaking. Just leave. Look at you. You're shaking. It's an old injury. But there's more to it than that, isn't there? What are you saying? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. I don't have to stand here and take this. Um. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't... He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. Oh, shit. So why not spill his? Nice. That's cool. She's done well there. Well, he's gonna say it now. 
Andros is hiring cell swords. Hundreds of them. Shit. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. Are you helping him? I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Well. This one. Now you know, too. And you're helping him? Yes, I've helped gather the men, but that doesn't... I mean, they say he's gathering Bloody an army, traitor. but Ironrath is like poorly defended anyway, so it's not you like it's going to take me. much to take it over. Have you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Oh no, now he knows that we've spoke too. We spilled the beans. Shit. Oh, she looks quite um, confident. Look at her, she's not even afraid. Lady Mira, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. I'm going to destroy you. <laughs> I don't think we'll do so dramatic. Don't be so bloody dramatic. Because I'm just getting started. Nice. Oh, he's gone red. You'll be proper upset him. We've got to be careful now, actually. This is King's Landing. This could end well. End bad, I mean, for Mira. For that walk. She means business. I feel like when it, in these games as well, you don't get anywhere near long enough to um, make a decision. It's like, f like three seconds and you've got to read all the decisions and then make a decision in the conversations. It's quite tough. So, oh, here we are anyway. Sure We're playing as game, Garrett. Potter? Looks like we're lost. Let's see that map again. So you're asking now, are you? Surprised you haven't taken it from my pocket already. Oh, don't be mean. How much food we got left? How much food we got left? We what food have we got? Oh, we got them, them ten. What are they? Onions. The food? Plenty. Uh, plenty. Oh, still Even plenty though it's not. Left. That's a lie. False hope. Oh, good. It means we won't have to stop for a while. Oh, there's a lie, by the way. <laughs> Shit. First. You think I can't hear you? We're on the right track. This way. So that's that symbol there on the tree. It's like a bear. Is that a warning sign? Someone's whistling. It's like a signal. There we go. It's a woman. She kind of looks like the ginger one from the TV show. The I can't remember her folk. name. complicates things you stay here does he know her I'll try and talk to her I'm one of them like what he's a fucking wildling cotter you didn't know I thought you knew I kick me around a little but whatever you do don't come out all right she has to think I'm alone if she sees you you'll only make things worse I would have stayed hidden no oh, he's doing what's he doing oh no, I'm uh... I'm a friend. I grew up near Ardhol. You know it? I won't hurt you. All right. You won't. I'm one of you. I'm all. Oh. Oh. You sure look like a crow oh, to no. me. You're dressed like one. Oh, he's in trouble. You out here all alone, little pup. Come out or I'll kill your friend. Oh, shit. Do you know? Attack! Stay first. hidden. Listen, I don't want to fight. Oh then you God! Have come here. Please! You not attacking. Behind your wall, where you belong. If they see us, they'll kill him. Uh, not oh God! That was like just a last-minute decision, second decision. I knew a little crow wouldn't wander off by himself. Leave them be, all right? We just, mean you no harm. I could no, not say that. We're wild things too. No, we're not. We mean you, you no harm. Your friends to feel left out. Let him go. That we're just passing through. We didn't mean any harm. Right. You and your fuckless men just want to kill us all and take our land. But you didn't mean any harm. Shit. It's like one, two. 
It's like four or five. five that's a fifth one there. So I see five. We're massively outnumbered. Carrot. Kill them. No. Are we gonna fight them? Oh, we actually have to fight them. Shit. Okay. So left. Ow. Oh, God. Winning. We're winning. Oh, no, no. We're losing. Where's Finn? Where's Finn not helping? Where's Finn? There he is. Hello. Good man. A bit late. Kick legs. Oh, you caught it. Nice. We're winning! Oh shit! Oh my god! That's oh, only in the shoulder. It's not that bad. Down. We're quite good at this. We're destroying them. They are just like surrounded. And now we're winning. This doesn't make any sense. This shit fighters. Let me stab in the chair. Oh my god, in the armpit. Holy shit. Get wrecked. There's one left. Oh shit, there's two left. <laughs> Where's Finn? Why is Finn always like not helping? So one's one's run off. Oh, they're taking our food. It wasn't much anyway. What do you mean no? Yeah, but she stole my food. She stole it. What? Let her go. All right. If you say so, mate. If you say so. I'm gonna trust you on this. Because you know the land a lot better than I do, so I don't know. The last of our supplies. Yep, Finn's pissed at us now. We can't stay here. You're hurt. Come on, we can rest up ahead. We only had like half an onion anyway, so it wasn't like we had good food. So we didn't lose much there. Although I did lie to them earlier on and say that we had loads of food, so he thinks we lost loads. <laughs> Playing as Roderick again? So what's happened there? Like, yeah, we put Griff in a cell, I guess, didn't we? There's all of him. Um, the White Hill Men. Better seeing Griff dragged out of the Great Hall like that. You wanted to kill him, didn't you? Of course, I did. How did you know when to stop? Because I your mum was grabbing me by the shoulder. I, I didn't really know. I knew it was. It and wasn't I, right. I don't know. I wish I, I had killed done. him. Kind of. I wish I had killed him. In my head, but you know. What do you think, Lord Whitehill will do when he hears? If he truly has a spy, he won't know of this. Not until we want him to. The gates are barred and every raven in the rookery is dead. My lord, there's been a message from High Point. Where's High Point? Lord is that White where the White Hills are you to discuss a truce. Oh. He wants to make peace. As if we're that naive. Interesting. Maybe this is an opportunity. A way to get behind their walls. And do what? You'd be putting yourself in danger, Roderick. Rescue Ryan, spy on Emily. Right. Emily. What do you hope to accomplish? We could get Ryan back. This could be our chance. You're right. Now that we have Griff, we can propose a trade. <laughs> a trade? His son for my brother. He's not going to be happy that we've got his son, though. It, you know, his brother, I mean. Then we have a plan. We'll leave first his son? Tomorrow morning. Yes, son. If you're going ahead with this, at least bring the Glenmore soldiers. We obviously need them here. You can't mean for Roderick to travel unprotected. What if the White Hills attack Ironrath while he's gone? My lord, you oh, cannot shit. go into an enemy stronghold unprotected. Nor can you leave Ironrath vulnerable. We have small. We can't lose Ironrath, that's the big issue. Ironrath is ours again. The Glenmores will ensure it stays that way. Yeah. Let Arthur know at once. Can we yes, take half? Or they just take a few men? making the preparations. Because yeah, like if we lose Iron Wrath completely, getting it back is no chance. For the White Hills. Duncan wanted you to travel to High Point without any protection. Yet Royland would leave Iron Wrath defenseless. Well, what? I'll need an advisor with me at High Point. 
By rights, it should be your sentinel. But if we're going to an enemy stronghold, maybe you'd best take Sir Roiland. It's meant to be a negotiation, not a battle. How could any hmm. of them betray us? I've known these people my it's just, whole it's, life. Yeah, it's a negotiation, like she said. Still, so we should probably take Duncan. He's a better speaker. One. We have to leave someone in charge of the keep while we're gone. Duncan's my sentinel. He comes to High Point. Roiland can stay here and defend Ironrath. Very well. Roderick, I know I can't come to High Point, but I can't just sit around and do nothing. I want to help. Please, I'll do anything you ask. Find the traitor. Even hide in the grove. Dangerous. I don't hide care. in the grove. Be I careful. Know, maybe no safer than High Point. If there's trouble, I want you to hide. Go to the grove and stay there until we return. I'm not a child anymore. You are though. You're a little girl. You were every bit as stubborn when you were her age. I've known Lud Whitehill a long time. He's selfish, greedy, and arrogant. But he'd never kill a guest in his own home. Huh. At least, I don't think he would. You don't think he would, okay. I hope you're right, Mother. I hope you're right, too. So Griff is being put in a jail cell? I don't think it's jail, is it? It's, oh my god, look at his face. We wrecked his face. Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. Um, I think we're playing as Asher again in the next bit, so we'll continue that in the next video. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.